everyone, this is Bee Geeky Blog, and we are doing our recap for the Shannara Chronicles Episode 7 Breakline. Bee Geeky Blog! My name is Sheena, and you can follow me at XX Eternal Angel XX on Instagram. I'm Katrina, you can follow me at XXKM Gaming XX on Instagram and Twitter. So, we are going to go over our top five highlights of the episode. And a couple of notable moments and some theories we have on some of it. So, our top five, we have to talk about Alanon. Number one. Number one. Because this is the biggest thing that happened in the last episode. We thought he died. And we're just like, no. Really? You're not killing off Alanon. <laughs> That's not gonna, happening. I was going to be real mad. <laughs> yes. I was too. I was going to be really mad if Alanon died. Mm-hmm. But he didn't. Mm-mm. He did not die. I, thank goodness. Did he get sent? He got sent to like some sort of heaven or then, mystical because it i don't know how would he have gotten to his druid basically cave? what happened is we see alan on waking up in his druid cave which mm-hmm. is his healing cave it's this little special place he goes to to heal himself mm-hmm. he seems has to do that a lot mm-hmm. a lot and a there yeah yeah so, yeah yeah he gets stabbed in his stomach a lot <laughs> anyway so we'll go move on from there but um Yes, he goes, and there's a theory that maybe he went to heaven, his druid heaven, and that his old master Bremen came and healed him yep. and sent him back. So mm-hmm. we got Alan on back, um, but we also learned that he's like 300 years old, and... He looks good. He looks good. <laughs> he's doing a lot of those power naps for 50 years. Those, yeah. They're working out pretty well mm-hmm. for him. Absolutely. Yes, power naps. Um, and he's still a badass, and he still looks good in armor. Oh. Yes. And his, like, robe. And his robe. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, she's making pet noises here. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so number major two. number two, the majority of this episode did focus on uh, what we call elf hunters. Uh huh. Elf hunters. Um, Eritrea and Amberly. And Amberly, mm-hmm. they fall. Last episode, they fell in the crevice, and um, we weren't sure what was going to happen to them. Mm-hmm. Well, I guess they landed in a river and they got washed down the river and they got separated. How did they survive that? So, um, and they get separated, and we see that the Reaper has, I don't know if he's, I think he's knocked out. I don't think he's dead. I don't think he's dead. I think he's knocked out. We're yeah. going to probably see the Reaper again. But in this episode, he's not in it. He's mm-hmm. just knocked out. Yeah. So they get separated, and um, Amberly and Eritrea get together to work together because they are getting hunted by elf hunters. Mm-hmm. These are humans. They look like uh, people from the Thunderdome they from do. Mad Max. Yeah. The they whole look pretty awesome. I mean, they look awesome, but yeah. I was like, Thunderdome! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> so we're like, we're waiting for some cage matches. Mm-hmm. I want to see some cage matches, but that didn't happen. I, I don't think that's going to happen. Not in this episode. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, so the main elf hunter, and apparently they like cutting off elf's ears and selling them to gnomes to, to eat. eat because of healing properties. Yeah, yeah, I think they're, something like they're that. selling them some. I think that's just gross. So yeah. they, you know, they're chasing them. They're running, and then then they stumble upon no, this. They fall. They fall. Well, they stumble. They they step on this weird little thing. They fall through to an underground high school. Uh, high school where it, apparently in the last when humans were ruled the earth, and after the. Uh, nuclear holocaust Mm -hmm. they several buildings including high schools got buried underground and they were basically preserved Mm -hmm. as amber says like a tomb yeah Yeah. and Mm -hmm. they dropped down into what looks like the gym and And it was like decorated decked out out for decorations yeah it looked like prom it was kind of creepy but it was kind of cool at the same time yeah like yeah i've never seen something like this Mm -hmm. it's kind of a neat little twist Mm -hmm. and they don't know what it is so Mm -hmm. they're in this they're trying to get out of this this tomb mm-hmm. and Eritrea and Amberly are starting to get a little bit more understanding of each other. They I have, like it. They have a heart to heart and they and they start to understand that they have similarities. They have to work together and they yes they do like the same guy, but I think that mm-hmm. putting it out there that they know it that there's not going to be a lot of there's going to still be issues, but. I feel like... I think they're more on the same level, level now. Because yeah. they're like, okay, you know... Bigger issues. Eritrea is like, revealing she's an orphan. And Amberly's like, I'm an orphan too. Yeah. And then, you know, it's just a really nice moment between the two. I really... Act- I enjoyed that very much. Will, on the other hand, gets separated from them. And he finds a young elf. By, what's his name? Perk? Perk. Perk? 
perk he, about you. Who unfortunately had his ear sliced off by Ouch. these elf hunters, and his partner, who he calls Janowitz, I don't know why I remember Janowitz, but not perk, I just do, is captured, and they... Will's like, well, where are these elf hunters? I have a feeling they're after my friends. Can you show me where the camp is? So mm-hmm. the guy does take him to the camp, and in, in well, the camp... you learn that he's he's looking for his friend. Yeah, the his partner. Perk, which and, is a female. Yeah, that's all you know that's at all that you point. Know. And the special partner that was, that was locked up is this flying rock? beast. It was it a rock? It, it's or, a... I don't know what it was exactly, but it was a flying, a flying creature, flying reptilian creature, mm-hmm. and and Will's like hanging from from like, a rope. Yeah, these ropes, and, and he basically saves. He grabs the girls. He, he grabs, grabs the them, girl. and they're getting lifted up out, and then and Zora's Sora, like, "No, bitch, you ain't going nowhere." And she shoots Eritrea in the side, and Eritrea, and Eritrea falls, falls, and Amberly's like, "We have to go back." But then at that moment, all of her men, Zora's men, were coming back, so there was yeah. no way that they could go back. And and I don't really think they could tell the the flying bees, "Hey, could you just hover in the air for a minute yeah, while prob- we go get this?" Yeah, probably yeah. not. Probably wasn't gonna happen. Mm-hmm. They're like, <laughs> "Will's like, I can't really do anything. I'm hanging on for dear life." As as well as you, so yeah. can't really go back right now. Yeah. But Eritrea gets taken by Zora, and she's taken hostage. Number four, number fourth moment is when they come to fight off the Dagnamore, and they get there. There's no demons there, and um, the Dagnamore. Aaron goes to go kill the Dagnamore, and Dagnamore basically tells him, "Oh yeah, your dad is dead." Basically saying he's totally outing out the changeling right there, mm-hmm. but he he tells him your dad is dead. And then he takes a sword from Arian, and then he stabs him right in the chest. Mm-hmm. And Ander has to watch his, his brother die. It's a really, really sad moment. Um, a- Arian does die. And then here comes Alanon, here to save the day. Right he, as, as the Arian Dag- is dead. Uh, right as the Dagnamore is about to hurt uh, Ander. Ander. Um, Alanon saves him with some sort of force. He, he but... basically sends a spell out, and it knocks the Dagnamore out, and it's... Breaks Bandon up free from his prison, mm-hmm. his mental prison, mm-hmm. and puts a barrier between the Dagnamore and Ander, and Ander's able to escape. Mm-hmm. And then they get go straight back to at Arbalon, and Ander tells the king, the Changeling King, that um, the brother is dead. And then he goes and he kills the Changeling King because he's like, I, this, I just have to do this. And it's a really sad moment because you can tell, even though it is still his father, he's he still has it's still the Changeling. He still has to kill his father, and. So then our Alanon announces that he is the next king. Mm-hmm. And that's how the episode ends, is with Ander becoming the next king, even though it's entire number family. Five. And that is number five. Ander that's the fifth. becomes king. Yeah. Number five is Ander becoming king and killing the changeling. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And notable. notable. Um, did the dice that, uh, that Amberly picked up, uh, do they have any significance? I mean, they do look like elf stones, and some people, and it kind of was like, oh yeah, this is still kind of reminding me of you, Will. But I, why would you even put it in there if it didn't have something some sort of significance? significance? And then the other other thing, we, notable moment is, did the Dagnoir really out the changeling? I I think I think he did. I think he did. I think he saw that the changeling lost its once Alanon was dead. Changeling lost its purpose, and he was just getting rid of loose ends. Even mm-hmm. though they're supposed to have a relationship, he mm-hmm. was, he totally added him. Yeah. Her. 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 It. Whatever it is. Whatever. We're not sure. <laughs> Anyways, that's <laughs> it from us at Be Geeky Blog. Catch yeah. us next time. Uh, and yeah. catch Shannara Chronicles. What is it? Tuesday at? Tuesday at 10, 10. p.m. on MMTV. MTV. At MTV. <laughs>